Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So today we have a CX-7. It's a 2012. Um, the reason the motor's all tore apart right now is because I have to change the plugs and put new oil in it because, let me show you, they put it full of diesel fuel. So we have a pump hooked up to our battery here and we're pumping the tank out right now so it was actually very easy you had the three screws in the top of the plate that holds this cover plate on and then you have eight screws that go around the housing to hold the housing down and then one connection on top seat you just pull up on it and it pops it out but yeah so basically my rigging i got a pump for 30 bucks from advance and then my battery an extra battery i had just plugged it in all together have one hose in the gas tank in the low spot feeding sucking all that out and have it flown across and going into a catch can but yeah i will bring y'all back once i get all this drain back out throw the plugs in it change the oil and we'll go from there Okay, I apologize about that. I thought the camera was recording. So this one doesn't have the shield underneath of it. I can see the bolts. I guess it got ripped off or something. I don't exactly know. But your oil pan bolt is a uh, 17 millimeter. Or here's your oil filter. Normally there would be a cover, or at least the first time I did this car a couple years ago, it was so anyway here is your oil filter there's your drain bolt and your spark plugs are five eighths and they're down through the top of the head so i'll let this drain out i'll get the plug back in here and um the diesel fuel is almost drained out of the tank so i wanted to show you so you know what a nice plug looks like Here is what I pulled out of this thing. Them plugs are gross. I mean, a lot of them's got a lot of... I'll try to get it to focus there for you. A lot of them has a lot of buildup, so it's been a long time since these have changed out. But I was going to show y'all. Really simple. You have a cover, and you have four little hold-down bolts for your cool um, wires and well I guess that'd be cool packs wouldn't it but anyway so right through there there's your spark plugs and your money okay so like I said spark plugs the oil is all changed and all good now so now I have my pump hooked back up I didn't realize this was a two chamber tank so this tank feeds this one via the line that's in the tank well, I could not get that line. So, this is what we're doing. I opened the other side. And now, as you see, I'm pumping it out. And pumping it into this can. It's a good time. Real good time. So, once this is done pumping, I'll run and get some gas. And fill, well, put gas in the tank. And then we'll go from there. okay so i got that side all put back together now so i just put this side back together made my connections hooked it all back up there put all my screws back in so just leave that there for a minute i'm gonna pump five gallons in here so like i said i just got the edelbrock electric fuel pump it's hooked up to a spare battery and just pumping some gas into it I was just going to pour it down the hole in there, but I didn't want to get fumes in the car. So, just do it like this. And I'll bring you back once we got the gas in there. 
So, like I said, this was filled full of diesel fuel. It fouled the plugs. So, I changed the oil, the plugs, and now I'm working on... Uh, I've sucked all the diesel fuel I could get out. There's just very little on the bottom of the tank, but that'll be okay. It'll burn off. But I'm going to wait until we get some fuel in here when it sucks this five gallon dry right here and then we'll give her a start and see what she does well we'll prime the fuel pump okay there's your seat reinstalled very easy just pull up on the front push the back in and lock it into place okay so now we'll come here cycle it a couple times so the fuel pump can build pressure since his system was completely drained. At least three or four times. Then. you gonna idle awesome well anyway that was how you can change a fuel pump plus oil and spark plugs and if you get diesel fuel in your fuel tank this main thing is to suck it out make sure you clean Clean the spark plugs and stuff and make sure they're nice and clean or buy new ones. I suggest buying new ones so you ain't got to deal with all that. But yeah. And she's smoking pretty good, but I mean, that is to be expected when filled plumb full of diesel fuel. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And like always, this is Adam, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.